Swear word. Don't swear. I've got the new lemon. Yeah, I can't show my. Right. Literally half five in the morning. My hair. My daughter pink curled it. My hair looks like a poodle right now. It will drop out. I've just gone seven. We had our breakfast before, didn't we? Because I've got to eat, even though I wasn't hungry whatsoever. And we're on the way to Birmingham or Solial for the independent gym group event, which is pretty exciting. Because Steve promised me Alan, the founder of Grenade, is going to be there. So. <laughs> no, I said you might get a free grenade bar. <laughs> um, Steve talks in the afternoon on the panel. I've, I've been watching the, the stories on Instagram setting up. Um, so we're dead excited. Yeah, I'm just more bothered about getting a coffee right now. I'm so tired. I, I never sleep when I know I'm going somewhere. Do you? Yeah, I slept good. Anyway, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'm just like the videographer here. I'm like, what am I? Like, you, can I be his bodyguard? Yeah. I'm his bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that was alright drive wasn't it? I'm, I'm already panicking because I've not eaten for a little for an hour. Um <laughs> Steve. I said will there be food there? Steve says, Well you definitely get some Harry Bones. Yes. Harry Bones, so we're alright. There's lunchtime about uh, one I think. I don't like having my lunch at one. Lunch. I like having it at twelve. <laughs> Networking lunch, yeah, I will do updates of the food they provide. If not, we'll just leave. No we're not. We've arrived. Actually, quite easy. So it's just gone nine. Just see, recognising some of the vans. Hello. 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 <laughs> Don't ignore me. Don't be me again. <laughs> Put the pressure on. Right. Started on the merch. We've got uh, barbells. Obviously, I'm a grenade bar fan. So I've got one of these to try, and I know Grenade's over there, so I'm going to go over to Grenade next. Uh, Steve's just talking to Tanita, getting involved. I need another coffee already, so... Oh, this is my favourite area. It's amazing. I just got to taste Oh, I've got the new lemon. Oh my god, I can't wait. Are we allowed to just try these then? Are we allowed to try these? As well. Go on then, do the taste test. Go on, what's it taste like? <laughs> like we look like hunchback. We're just I've just leaned up my phone on the coffee cup. Uh, we're just waiting for the main stage speaking. It's Rob, isn't it, going to be introducing yeah, the baby? Rob will introduce it all. So it's 10 to 10, and then I'm watching, is it Glenda? Yeah, Glenda Glenda's on a, a, nearly a resilience chat, and she's already said that she's going to shout out to me. And I'm like, oh. resilience as the talk is actually called. Resilience as F. Well, that's F, a swear word. Don't swear. You don't want to swear on your video, do you? Swear F. Resilience as F. Okay. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. FC UK. Yeah, I can't show mine. Say? Mine says, mine should say future cloud. I think if you know that crowd that opening you set yourself on the Steve's getting what did you say to me? He's gonna get mic'd up. He's gonna get mic'd up, because he's getting on the panel now. Isn't he? Based on systems. If their muscle mass has come down again, yeah, we then need to look into that a lot more. They 
These are all ran by our gym instructors. So our personal trainers use them as well for the air environments. All our systems are run by gym instructors. So we're keen to we definitely don't make the most of my gym. I've trained professional footballers. Yeah. If anybody's training pro athletes, they're lectures, well, that's our thing. I'm going to find a seat. These seats in this room is a lucky seat. Is it your seat? Check your seat. Where's Doug? Oh, there he is at the back. Doug Miller taught me everything I knew 25 years ago. Oh, Steve's running to get food. Running to get food. You've done your start. <laughs> he's done his chop. Hang on, let <laughs> How hungry are you on a scale of 1 to 10? 103. <laughs> this is our lunch. Lamb. Lamb. So I've gone for salmon with roasted, no, salmon with tomato sauce, tomato, chopped tomatoes. Got pine nuts. No, orzo. Beans. Steve's or new potatoes, roasted veg, rocket. It's all very healthy. And strawberries and cream for pudding and if you want it. What's that? Just thought, forgot to say, look at your new polo top. From Rick from Scott, really. Yeah, just noticed because I like the badge on the end as well. Look at that, and it's nicer. <laughs> We haven't got, how many steps have you done, Steve? I've done three and a half thousand. Four thousand, I've done about three and a half. But look at this, right, I'm just going to flip the phone. Grenade has arrived. Look at that, it looks good though. Get involved in uh, my supplements. So this, this is where you get all your supplements. <laughs> we already, yeah, already use muscle for this. Steve, what talk have we got next? One of our music, so you don't have to pay music license. Uh, so that's part of the reference. Oh, okay. But then I don't know if it's going to be rubbish music. So how much? Sure. And then the one after, one later, we'll watch Brian Charles with the sales thing. Sales thing. And how much do you pay for your music license a year? £1,000 a year. <laughs> The question that I put to everybody is why pay so much money for music in group exercise classes? So that is, why do you pay so much money? I want to explain that to you. But secondly, why would you if there is an alternative? <laughs> I need a holder for my phone. Um, what was that about then? Yeah, PPR, PPL, PRS. Okay. It's um, interesting video to talk about. No, it is because they were selling something. So what were they selling? So you don't have to pay that license, you pay their license. Okay, and what was the cost of their license? This one um, now. Hmm? What's this one now? Ryan Charles creating environment. Sorry, good back. Ryan Charles creating environment to sell. So I'm not a company called Black Legends. So we've just watched a talk on marketing your gym, sales processes. Sales processes. What else did he say? Oh, how to look at um, train your people that systems. work with your gym, systems, Process. values, core values, processes, um, which is all very interesting, and that is relevant to any business, not just a gym. Steve's getting ready to go for his last talk of the day. Uh, Mr. Retention and Data himself. Um, and we're going to do some quick introductions uh, while everyone drags themselves back from the exhibition. Uh, but the main, the main reason to be here now and to have this at the end of the day is to really get a bit of debate going. Uh, Stay Co Fitness. Uh, I definitely want to be on holiday, enjoying the sun somewhere. It's been a long time since I've been anywhere. But odds on, if I wasn't here, I'd be back at home working. Which of you wants to pick up the next one? How are you coping with increasing costs? Uh, if I take on increasing costs, I'd say it is tough. Then control what you can control. If, if you've looked to get the best energy price you can get and you've got it, that's it, deal with it. They're the prices you're paying. If you've looked and looked at all your expenses in your business and drive every expense count down as much as you can, 
for the ones that aren't relevant to, relevant to increasing sales, you've then done it. The rest of your time then is spent on focusing on increasing sales. So it doesn't mean stopping all your marketing. If that's going to generate you income, then you pay that cost. If you've, it's like with if people, if you're renting your gym, if your rent's gone up, the odds on you having the opportunity to move gyms and rent another gym is probably really small. So to spend any amount of energy focusing on that as a negative, you can't do anything about it. So all your energy has to then shift to the positive side of going, right, how can we get increased sales to cover the costs of what's, what's gone up? It's not too much left, is it? Um, uh, getting your members involved is a big thing for us, so encouraging people to bring their own coffee cups, um, like most coffee chains do now, and rewarding that with potential sales. So we're uh, roof skylights, and they make a massive difference. So it's like with any saving you're going to make, though, you have to weigh up what it's going to cost you to what it's going to save you. But if it is an option to have them put into your gym, then let in natural light. You can turn your lights off in the gym in most areas in our place. We've got big roller shutter doors as well. So we have the roller shutter doors open, light coming in from the skylights. So our energy bills are then kept low. We also have an air source pump. We don't have any gas whatsoever. We have an air source pump which is, and if so, by how much? We're increasing our prices by nothing. Um, we won't be putting our prices out. I'd say our prices are probably more expensive than any other gym around us by a bit anyway. Reassuringly expensive. Yeah, you get what you pay for. Uh, but no, we won't put the prices up, but we'll use this as a time to try and increase our market share of how many members we've got, rather than putting the prices up. The risk you've always got with anything when it comes to prices, we put our prices up to cover the increased costs and things. Everyone else is feeling the pinch as well with petrol, their energy costs. Depending on what the price of your facility is, will it lose your members? It might not. It might cover the cost of everything. Um, I think like with anything, it just gives you different opportunities to do things. So for us, we haven't put the, we haven't asked what our prices up in eight years. But we've done things in a way where the owners have stepped away from the business and it's all systemized, so we now don't have to work in the business. So we haven't actually changed the price, but in a way we've changed the product. It's not a justification for what the price stands. Outside the box, in all the different ways. It's probably a slightly unusual one, maybe. But I'm not sure other people probably felt this as well. Over, not particularly lockdown one, suddenly the whole world was running experts. So a lot of members, when that's all you could do, you know, people don't necessarily have equipment at home. I found quite a lot of members left or slowly sort of dripped out the business into, and they suddenly became runners. And most of them were injured by the end of lockdown one. So, in a weird way, it came about to partnership. Uh, well, during lockdown COVID, like everyone else, lost a lot of members. I'd say we, we kept half uh, by setting up our online system. COVID gave us a time to set up our online system, redo part of the gym, uh, systemize all our processes. And the way we've got our members back is by having what we had before. We've got a very good gym. Everything's systemized. People buy into the programs that we offer. So you're not just we're not you're not just joining the gym. So you're either buying into a 16 week our fat loss system, a muscle building system, a good health system, or whatever. We've got quite a lot of different systems. Which that's what that's why people these holes is because they get a system that they get. Yes, we've now got the landlord saying they're putting the rent on uh, the amount we pay in our loan repayments pay for the gym is. The same price as we are paying rent five years ago. Our electricity has been going for over two years even, because that's fixed as well. So a lot of the stresses people have, we actually haven't got. So that isn't me being a smart get sat on stage and remember these issues. That's the go. The more you can have it sort of your own responsibility, and everybody's gym is a responsibility, I'm not saying that, but the more you can control what you're doing, the more choices you've got, the more, the more decisions you can make. And the, one, of the, one of the biggest things is that there's people in this industry who are all incredibly passionate about what we do. And this, this isn't even a plug, but myself and Steve and I know a couple of other people I've seen are on the UK Active Independent Operators and Council. And the only way that we can help each other out. Yeah. Sun's nice and bright. Um, 
You see, you did amazing. Steve's finished. What's it saying? Keep steady. All right, so my battery's on like 9%. So I am going to a service station to charge. Are you eating anything else? Definitely eating. We've only had lunch. Did you enjoy that last speaking panel? Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, there was on sofas. Yeah. Steve couldn't be any more chilled. They basically put your feet up. Yeah. Just talk. <laughs> and they were talking about energy saving, and I nearly shouted out, What about when you turn the lights off? Uh, yeah. He's programmed the team to turn the lights off and the we've got a Gotta save. On. Save you money, turn them lights off yeah. in the gym, obviously. So no, it was a good day. Yeah, really good. Tired though. Yeah. Just had a bit of grenade bar, haven't we? Thought <laughs> again. Yeah. Bit tired, yeah. Um yeah, so that's it done. Do you any <laughs>